Election fever is gripping Zimbabwe again. This time, former friends are now foes in by-elections due in just two months. Expelled former ZANU-PF provincial chairperson Temba Meliswa is standing as an independent and is confident of winning his seat back, even without ZANU-PF's backing. I've always said that uh, the party's supremacy is in the people. You see, the party must understand that its supremacy is in the people, and the people are supreme. His language is instructive of an impending arrival on Zimbabwe's political scene. People First is the name of a rival party that is in the making. A former ZANU-PF Supremo with the party since its formation 52 years ago until his recent ouster, Didimas Mutasa, confirmed the speculation that has been doing the rounds. It is only a matter of time before we publicly launch such a party. We have a tremendous following. This is going to be a coalition of all political parties in Zimbabwe. With former Vice President Joyce Mujuru leading a united front, some think this could shake things up. The anticipation of change in the political affairs of the country, both within ZANU-PF in terms of succession with the new Vice Presidents, uh, uh, among other things, and uh, the expulsion of a, f of a former stalwart of the party, together with the co coagulation of the opposition around some convergence platform, yes, there will be a force to reckon with. It's insofar as the public anticipates that something significant should happen to the political environment in the country. But the ruling party seems unperturbed. I spoke to ZANU-PF spokesperson on Friday and he said that there is and will only be one ZANU-PF. It is the one in government now and the one that is set to win the next elections. And if the statements we've been seeing in local press are anything to go by, then the party is dismissive of any challenge that Mujuru or her counterparts can muster. ZANU-PF will be buoyed by the two by-elections it has already won last month including one where the vice president, Emerson Mnangagwa's wife, replaced him as an MP. And the ruling party will look to keep the winning streak going as it aims to consolidate its dominance in parliament. Farai Mokutuya, CCTV, Harare, Zimbabwe.